Hello all, I am Prasad and welcome to Automation Insights. Today we are going to see how to check if required keys are present in the dictionary variable or not using link method. Also we are going to get the missing keys from the dictionary and print them in a log message so that we can uh, use to send an email uh, with the missing keys or put a log message and see then the orchestrator so what are the keys are missing uh, which we require so why we need to check uh, the keys are present in the dictionary before our process starts so let's assume we have an config file placed in the centralized place where every developer can access them so if someone accidentally deletes some data in that config file and the other developer may use that data in their project and they may face an exception that the given key was not present in the dictionary before we are going to see how to check if the required keys are present in the dictionary we have to see what is the data we have in the config file i have already created a config file which is the excel file with some of the keys and values which we are going to load that into the dictionary variable so let's see what are the data we have in that config file. Let's open the config file which I placed in the project folder. So I have named this as config.xlsx. So we have an input field called settings and two columns, name and description. So the name is the one which we are going to use as keys and description are the values. Let's minimize this Excel file and we are going to load this data into the dictionary variable. So for that we need to read this Excel data. So to read the Excel data, we need to use read range activity, which read the Excel data and store that into a data table. Let's type read and we can see that uh, there was some activities and we have to use read range. So we have to give the Excel file path. So which is the config file path. Okay, the config file is opened in the background. So let me close the Excel file and then I select the config file. So after that, we need to give the seat name. So the seat name we have here is, let's open the Excel file. So we have the seat name called settings. So just copy that and put that into the seat name property. And then the uh, range. So we need to uh, read all the ranges uh, data in the Excel file. So we have to give this empty and we need to create the data table so dt table so which is the type system dot data dot data table so click variables and we can see the variable type is data table and now we need to create the dictionary variable so let's name this dictionary variable as config and the data type is system dot collections dot generic dot dictionary so system dot collections dot generic dot dictionary and we can see that T key value so the T stands for type so what is the type of the key string and what is the type of the value so it is an object which can store any data type in it and then we need to initialize the data table so why we need to initialize the data table so initialization is nothing but we just assign a memory for that variable so new dictionary of what is the keys data type so the key data type is string and the values data type is object so click OK and now we need to load the data from Excel file to the dictionary variable for that we need to use an activity called for each row which will loop through all the rows in the particular data table and we can use this row to load the data from that particular row to the dictionary variable so the current row will hold the current iteration of that particular row so now we need to drag an assign activity and in the to value we need to give the key so config of what is the key so the key here is the uh, name column in the data table so current row of that particular row and then inside the column property we need to give the key column name so the key column name is name so just copy that and paste that into the particular uh, row property and then in value we need to give the description column so the name column is the key and description column is the value so current row of description which is the uh, value of this particular dictionary variable and then uh, 
now i will close the excel file so we can load the data from the excel file to the dictionary variable so let's assume now we load the data into the dictionary variable now we need to check if the particular uh, keys are present in the dictionary variable to check this we need to use an activity called if which will go to then if the condition inside that activity is true and go to else if it is false before we write the link query we need to assign what are the keys we required for our project so for that i just created an variable array required keys of type array of string so these are the keys which i required for my project so it is an array of string let me close this variables panel and drag an assign activity so that we can assign what are the keys we required for our project so in the two part the array variable name array required keys and in the value we need to specify what are the keys we required so these are the keys present in my excel file which we are going to load that into the dictionary variable so these are the country names india canada japan china so what are the country we are going to use in our project so for that we need to initialize the array variable new string of so string it is a type string so string of what are the keys we required so there are three keys i am going to use india so the first one is india uh, the second one is japan and the last one is uk so let me close this pop up and before we write the link query let me close the excel file as well so let me drag an activity called message box to uh, for testing purpose we use message box in real projects we may use an alternate method if the keys are not present so in the message box if uh, all the keys are present i just give all keys are present and if one of the keys are missing then in the else part i just give all keys are not present and now we can start write the link query so in the condition of if activity let me expand the uh, editor as well so the array variable name array required keys dot all so it is an link method which will return true if all the conditions inside this function will be true and then inside this a lambda expression function of required key so the required key is an temporary variable which we can uh, assign any name to it so for the logical purpose i give required keys and inside this config which is the uh, dictionary variable config dot keys dot so it will get all the keys of that particular dictionary variable and then it will call a method called any which will return true if any one of the condition inside that function is true and then inside that another lambda expression function of actual key the actual key is nothing but an variable name i just assigned so that uh, it is an key present in the dictionary and inside that required key dot to string dot equals so the array variable name dot uh, it will convert that into a string and compare with the actual key so if any of the keys is matching with the required key then it will return true and then it will loop for the another item in the array so it will return true if all the the array variable item is matching with one of the uh, keys in the dictionary now we write the link query so let me close this editor and then if i run the workflow it will return true and the message box will show all keys are present in the uh, the dictionary so all keys are present so that means all the keys which we require are present in the dictionary variable so now let me change the value of one of the item in the array so instead of japan i gave japan 2 so this uh, japan 2 this key is not present in the dictionary because it is not uh, loaded in the excel file so it will return false so now if i run the workflow it will return false and then it will uh, show the message box all keys are not present so now we use the link method and check if the required keys are present in the dictionary or not so now if one of the keys are missing so but we don't know which key is missing so in now we are going to see how to get the missing keys from the dictionary variable using the link method so we use an activity called log message which will uh, print the data into the output panel or the orchestrator so we use that to print the missing keys from the dictionary we are going to copy the link query which we write in the if activity and then we are going to modify it so the link activity which we write in the 
if at it so the instead of all we are going to use where so where it will return all the keys if the condition is true inside this so we are using the same link method which we are using so we just convert that into an array so it will convert this into an array and then we are joining this array into a string variable so there was a method called string dot join which will join all the items in the array into one string so the first parameter is a delimiter so what is the delimiter which we are going to use so we, for now i just use uh, the the new line so environment dot new line which will print all the items each one by one and also we need to change this method any to all so that it will return true only if all the config keys are not matching with the item in the array let me close this pop up and then now we are going to run this so it will have the all the keys present in the dictionary so if it will return true and it will show in message box all keys are present so which we are done earlier so now if one of the keys are missing so what it will do it will print the missing keys in the output panel so now i just change the keys from japan to japan 2 and uk to uk 2 so these two keys are not present in the dictionary and not present in the excel file as well so if i run this it will return uh, it will print the uh, missing keys from the dictionary to the output panel so now let me check the output panel as you can see it is printing japan 2 and uk 2 which is missing keys in the dictionary so today we have seen how to load the data from the excel file to the dictionary variable and also we see how to check if the required keys which we going to use in our project is present in the dictionary or not and in the last we have seen how to take this missing keys and print them in the output panel or in the orchestrator 